Hey everyone, my name is Ammunition, and welcome to the Intel Streamers Bootcamp. Today we're going to be talking about setting up for your very first live stream using programs and equipment optimized for great streaming experiences on Intel processor-based PCs. Getting started with streaming is relatively simple. The first thing you'll need is a gaming PC with a strong processor. I used two PCs for my stream, but I started with one, which you can and probably should do as well. My streaming PC is running an Intel Core i7-4790 with an NVIDIA GeForce GTX 980 Ti graphics card and 16GB of Corsair Vengeance memory. My gaming PC is running an Intel Extreme Core i7-5960X with an NVIDIA GTX 980 Ti graphics card and 32GB of HyperX Predator memory. You'll want to have a computer with a strong processor because it directly impacts your gaming and streaming performance. I'll be going over bit rates, frame rates, and resolution in an upcoming video for more information on how your processor impacts your stream. The next thing you'll need is a stable internet connection. You can probably get away with streaming on Wi-Fi sometimes, but for the best quality you're going to want a hardwired Ethernet connection. I'd also recommend upload speeds of over 5 megabits. Again, you can probably get away with less, but you're going to get the best quality if you have at least 5 megabit upload speed. You'll also need a Twitch.tv account. There are other streaming services, but of course, being a full-time Twitch streamer, I'm very biased, and I think that Twitch is the best service for live streaming video games. You'll also need some content that you want to stream. Twitch is home to a wide variety of content, most popularly video games, but some content creators broadcast live art or music creation, as well as cooking or tabletop games. You'll also need to decide which streaming software you want to use. The most popular ones currently are XSplit and OBS. Personally, I use OBS Classic because it has all the features that I need. There are pros and cons to every one, and you'll just have to decide what's best for you. You'll also need a webcam, like the Intel RealSense camera. This part is technically optional. There are a lot of popular streamers who have decided not to use a camera at all, so that's a personal decision that you'll have to make as well. Once you've got all of that sorted, you'll use your streaming software to add sources to your stream, like your webcam, the game, and overlays. And then you'll just click Start Streaming. Streaming involves a lot of moving parts, and even the most experienced streamers still experience frequent tech problems, myself included. So that's where these Intel Streamers Bootcamp videos will hopefully come in handy for new streamers like you. For more Intel Streamers Bootcamp videos, take a look at the links at the end of this video and check back often for videos on newly released topics, which will help you improve your streamer experience. I'm Ammunition, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.